Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we're back for another creator tutorial. This time, we're going to be troubleshooting some of the frequently encountered problems when using OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software, to record locally to your computer instead of streaming to, say, something like Twitch. So this is going to include things like your video is stuttery, you encounter low frame rate and poor performance when trying to play a game and run OBS at the same time, you encounter audio drifting, your video is saving out as a flash video instead of an mp4 video, and um, various problems like that. Most technical problems that you'll encounter with OBS will be solved by fiddling with these settings, making sure your graphics card driver is up to date with the most recent version, and also making sure that your OBS is at the most recent version as well. Because it can help, especially with newer games that have capture issues when they first launch, can be fixed by upgrading to the most recent version of OBS. Let's just get started here by heading into settings. Well, the first thing we want to take a look at is encoding. And in, in encoding, there's a, there's a setting that I overlooked talking about in the original OBS tutorial, but that is your max bitrate. Max bitrate I left at the default 5000, but that is a poopy quality for your videos, and it doesn't give your video enough wiggle room when encoding to make sure that you can get all of that delicious quality and like HD capture that you're looking for for YouTube. So this is 25,000 megabits per second, and this has to do with the overall quality that your video file is being saved to. For YouTube, they actually want you to upload at about 8,000 to uh, 12,000 megabits per second for your videos. And um, just to make sure that we have plenty of quality before compression happens on YouTube or in your video editor, we want it right around 25,000. You can set it as high as about 35,000. However, beyond that, you're probably not getting much more quality out of it. That's just the way that happens with using things like OBS on your computer. So the next thing we want to take a look at is your broadcasting settings. This is what we'll look at if you're having issues with your video being saved as a flash video and not an MP4. So OBS doesn't have a pull down that lets you dynamically switch between MP4 and flash. The only thing you've got to do to change how your video is saved, you see here where my file path is located, I just changed my .broadcast.mp4 file to .flv if I wanted to save as flash. If you have a flash file and you want it to save as mp4, just say whatever your recording is called .mp4. That's all you gotta do, and then it's gonna record in the right format so you can easily edit it and fiddle around with it on your computer without installing any other software. Next up, under video, we're gonna start getting into the nitty gritty of the settings that you'll fiddle with to tune down your quality and the size of your video in case your video or your graphics card is starting to chug when you want to record stuff. Because you can't put up a good video if it's stuttery. You know, it could be 1080p 60fps video, but if it starts to stutter, if your game's not playing great, people aren't going to want to watch it. So the first thing that you're going to want to make sure is that your frame rate is set to 30fps. The graphics cards, you know, older hardware, different types of hardware, when you set your frame rate to 60 FPS, I know it's cool, I know YouTube just enabled us to do this, but it can make some hardware chug. Don't, don't do that. Just set it to 30 FPS, that's your standard. Stick with it if you're having trouble, and don't stray from it too far. This can even make your graphics card crash if it's older, if you set it above 30. The next thing you'll want to do is, let's say you run at 1080p like I do. I just upgraded to a large... Um, 1440p monitor, but we'll tune it down to 1080p and you want to make sure that your aspect ratio is 16 by 9. That is a standard definition aspect ratio. Then, down here under resolution downscaling, we can actually set it so that OBS automatically compresses our video straight to 720p and then we want to make sure you've got either bicubic or Langzos um, filtering. This is just the overall quality of the edges and everything, so it doesn't look blurry. And then this will dramatically improve a lot of frame rate issues that people have just by compressing your video, because all of our graphics cards and our CPUs are set to be able to compress stuff by default, so it's a little easier on the hardware. Next thing we want to fiddle around with, and you can even set these um, 
filters down to bicubic or bilinear if you have to. Next thing we want to fiddle with, and the last things that we want to fiddle with, are down here under the Advanced tab. So we'll save our settings, and primarily what you want to fiddle around with here is your X264 CPU preset. It'll start out at faster or very fast. But what you want it to do is you can probably set it to ultra fast, ignore the warning signs, so you're not going to be able to do too much with that technical information, but set it to super fast or ultra fast, and this will basically say, okay, your game is freezing up, it's lagging, it's stuttering, give priority to the computer to do its thing and not priority to recording, and it'll, it'll kind of kill your quality just a smidgen. But it'll make sure your computer behaves itself and it spends most of its resources on rendering your game instead of trying to record. It'll prevent a lot of stuttering and so forth. But this setting primarily is what'll help your computer out a whole boatload. So that's about it, guys. If you fiddle with these settings, that should cover most of your issues. Now, don't just set these things to the lowest quality setting and just leave it. You can do that, but it'll kill your quality, and you don't necessarily have to do that with every computer. Sometimes you can leave your, you know, your video settings to full 1080p, and it won't hurt anything. Sometimes all you have to do is set your frame rate down to 30. Sometimes all you've got to do is head down to advanced and change your CPU preset. So fiddle around with these settings, see which one of them works best for you, and then if there's any other technical problems you have, you can send me another comment here on this video description. What I recommend you do before trying to contact me, because this is about the extent of my troubleshooting knowledge, head over to the OBS Broadcaster Forums. There's a lot of really great, knowledgeable people who can help you out, especially if it's like a per graphics card issue, if you've got older hardware, if you've got fiddly hardware, or if there's a new you know, driver or some piece of software interfering with OBS, those are the people who are going to be able to help you. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Thanks for joining me for this uh, lovely tutorial. I've got some more stuff coming your way, including a tutorial on how to design your very own channel banners so that they look sexy, including a lovely template that you can mess around with and use to your heart's content. Have a good run, everybody. And don't forget to like and subscribe, because that helps me out a whole bunch and lets me know what kind of content you guys are looking for. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.